Well, it's a beautiful day and the sun is shining, so I'm gonna do a little bit of yard work and wanted to take a moment to uh, answer a question that I get asked a lot in the form of a review. And it's about one of the more interesting tools that I own. I've owned for almost five years now. Uh, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of the lawnmower that I own. It's actually the lawnmower I'm sitting on and riding around right now. And it begs the question, could you ride around your yard talking on a video with your lawnmower running? Because I can. And that's because I own a Ryobi RM480E, which is an electric riding lawnmower. So let's talk about the good, the bad, and we're gonna get some lawn mowed here. So this is the Ryobi RM480E. It's an electric riding mower. It's 38 inches wide as far as the cutting deck. It has a 100 amp hour battery that'll get you about a two acre yard on a single charge and a couple other bells and whistles that we'll talk about. Just do kind of a quick ride around or walk around rather. So you get your two pedals in the front. One's your brake, one's your accelerator. You have a side eject or mulching kit. It comes with the mulching kit. I ran it with mulching for about the first year and just didn't really like Kind of the quality of it it tended to clump up in my yard because of the grass that i've got so i switched it over to side eject and i've been much happier with it since then uh, coming up here to the side you have your controls for the blade your reverse mode option you do have to turn that on every single time you get on the mower if you want to be able to mow in reverse it's a safety feature once you click that button as long as you stay in the seat uh, it will keep that option turned on if you get off for any reason it shuts it back off there is cruise control it does work so if you set your speed and you've got a large yard, hit cruise, take your feet off the accelerator and it will just keep it right at that constant speed across your lawn. Uh, it's got your lights, which are right there, your battery meter, uh, which will show you how many volts are left. It's kind of hard to see in the sun here. It gives you your LED gauge. And then you have a charging port for your phone. So if you are in a large yard and you're listening to music off your phone, you can plug it in to charge and it sits right here in this little slot uh, to hold for you. Uh, this does have forward, neutral, and reverse. It's just a regular you know, double throw, double throw switch on it. When you're in reverse, the one kind of negative about it, it does beep and you can't turn the beeping off. Uh, it's fairly loud. Going around to the back, you have your charging port. Mower comes with a transformer that mounts to your wall. It plugs into a regular 120. Mine's on just a 15 amp circuit and I've never had an issue with it. Uh, and that charges the mower. Then you got your all important cup holder and your deck height adjust uh, with a small little yellow tab that you can do to remind yourself of what position you were in. Moves very easy. Just set it. A Little bit about this. Uh, there are three electric motors on this particular unit. There's one that drives the wheels and then each blade actually has its own separate electric motor, which drives just that blade. They're synchronized so that the blades don't hit each other, um, but they plug in off two different cords and a couple little cotter pins just to drop the whole deck. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, there is a uh, mounting point on the back for you to run a garden trailer, which we do a fair amount. These little tabs here are for the bagging kit which you have to buy separately. If you want to turn this into a bagger, it puts two soft bags on the back uh, with a chute that goes around to the side. So back on board here, I'm six foot one uh, and about, oh, 230 pounds or so right now. Uh, and this is comfortable for me. It does have an adjustable seat. I'm right about in the middle. I could go back a little bit, uh, but I like it right about the center. Um, like I said, you got your brake here on the left, parking brake, just push this all the way down and pull the tab up and then your accelerator here. So let's show you start up on this. I uh, just flip the key to the on position. Can't quite see it, but the gauges will start lighting up. Uh, my lights are on just because I always run it with the lights on because, hey, why not? The lights on this actually do work very well. I've mowed at dusk a few times and they light the yard up very well, much better than the kind of fake pretend lights you see on most riding mowers like my previous one. So I'm gonna put it in reverse mode just so that's enabled. Hit F for forward, and then I've got my control for the blade. If I pull this up, it's going to turn the blades on. So I'll get this adjusted. Drop that back into its normal position. You can see we just off we go. I mean, there's no noise, there's no circumstance to it. 
it's just off and running. Now when I turn the blades on, it's uh, similar to a weed whacker in the kind of noise that it makes. I should be able to talk over it. I have had conversations with my wife while this thing was running, so. So that's what the blade's on. So a lot quieter than a traditional riding mower. It's still a bit noisy. Charging is very simple. They give you this transformer that you can just set on the shelf or mount on the wall the way I have. It's just a, a standard 120 plug. And then it has this cable that comes off of it. So you just lift up the charge port, plug this in, and you'll hear this actually click, and then it's charging. Uh, it doesn't take it very long to charge, and then it goes into trickle charge mode. So over the winter, you just leave it plugged in all winter, and it serves to maintain the batteries. Um, while it's stored. So I can summarize a bit. Uh, the goods, the things I like about this mower, it's very quiet, it's super easy to use, it's very intuitive in the way that it works, it has enough features um, to kind of make mowing comfortable, if you will, or at least interesting. Uh, it definitely has a bit of a cool factor as much as a riding mower can. So it's a conversation piece among people in my cul-de-sac here every time it comes out. Um, what I well, and as a mower, I should say also, it's a very good mower. Uh, it leaves my lawn looking great, leaves it very, very flat and very clean. Um, no, no complaints at all about the quality of the actual cutting that it does. What I don't like about it, uh, from a turning radius standpoint, it's not great. So it doesn't turn super sharp. And as I mentioned, if you do crank it over all the way, it does tend to bind up a little bit. Uh, and, you know, just not quite grab especially if you're on a hill um, also from a speed standpoint it's not as fast as it used to be in the five years I've owned it it has gotten slower and it hesitates more I don't know if that's because of the batteries or if that's because of the electric motor but it it doesn't jump like it used to um, not a big deal it doesn't really impact the use of it it's just something that I've noticed over time uh, the other thing the only other thing that I really don't like about it is the steering has developed a weird squeak I'm gonna hear if I just start driving around, as things move around, you're gonna hear that squeaking noise. Quite fast if we want to. You can see it is quite quick, but that squeak, I can't make it go away. I've tried a number of different things and no matter what I try, it's still there. So one of those weird little things, at least you know, people can hear me coming because uh, otherwise it's very quiet, as you can tell. I just go flying down the hill here. Uh, the last thing then that is just sort of a thing to get used to is this mower will not go from drive to reverse or F to R unless you are completely stopped. And that seems like a small thing. It's a safety thing. But when you're hurrying or when you're in a tight corner and you're trying to kind of like, you know, edge into something and then come back, it is kind of annoying. You find yourself doing this a bit to get it to uh, just to shift out as long as you come to a complete stop each time not a big deal but if you're trying to sort of coast it and just quickly switch gears like you can on any other type of mower it doesn't do that it forces you to actually fully stop before it'll switch and that's where the uh, beeping for the reverse actually comes in handy because you know right away that you're not in reverse because it's not beeping yet so then it's okay foot on the brake and you laugh the brake and you'll hear it start beeping uh, and then off you go so all in all, I'm, I'm very happy with this mower. Um, I like that it's quiet. I like that I don't have to wear ear protection. When I'm mowing, I can just throw like AirPods in and hear everything just fine. I can hear my wife calling me or hear my kids in the yard. They need my attention while I'm mowing uh, without having to, you know, constantly be in that world that your regular riding mowers put you into. 
Um, it is very expensive. This mower costs uh, anywhere between two and three thousand dollars, depending on where you find it. You get them a little bit cheaper sometimes, but uh, they are pricey. So something to be aware of. That being said, there is no maintenance on this. There's no oil. There's no gas. Uh, there's nothing you need to do aside from clean it and park it in the winter. So. Uh, it is nice in that way. There's just not a lot to break down. It's a very simple machine, really. Um, and the batteries under it are essentially glorified car batteries. So, well, with that, I need to have some work to do. I got to finish up mowing before I get in trouble for sitting out here talking on my phone on this beautiful day instead of doing yard work, which is what I really came out here to do in the first place. So I'm going to get back to work and I'm going to let you go. But first, I owe you a dad joke. So that is, what is a baker's favorite way to mow a lawn? easy baguette all right remember the first step in any diy project just to do it doesn't have to be perfect take care we'll see you next time